Hi, and welcome to Chemistry Course. Today we're talking all about ions. And today we're going to start off by talking about valence electrons. The electron dot structure is basically a diagram that shows valence electrons as dots. <laughs> For example, in group 1A, each element has one dot representing their valence electron. Next order of business, we're going to be talking about the octet rule. Every element wants to gain a valence electron. I'll be using oxygen as an example. In the first energy level, there is going to be two electrons. And then in the second energy level, there are going to be six because oxygen uh, is in group in group 6A. <laughs> Ionic compounds are composed of cations and anions. Although they are composed of ions, ionic compounds remain electrically neutral. These ionic compounds are held together by ionic bonds, which are created by the exchange of valence electrons. A chemical formula shows the kinds and numbers of atoms in a substance. Um, for example, NaCl is the chemical formula for sodium chloride. NaCl is also an example of a formula unit. A formula unit being the smallest whole number ratio of ions in an ionic compound. Now we're going to do bonding in metals. Metallic bonds are different than ionic ones because they are, the valence electrons are viewed as a sea of electrons instead of very structured and non-malleable. Next on the list for metals is alloys. Alloys are the mixture of what, two or more elements, at least one of which is a metal. Alloys are important because they, their properties are often better than the properties of their original elements alone. A couple important alloys are sterling silver, which is 92.5% silver and 7.5% copper.